Hello everyone, and welcome to another Dwarven Tavern Review. I am tuning up the bazooki and talking about, this time, a brand new release from the wonderful folks at Paizo called Pathfinder Monster Codex. This is it. Now, the Monster Codex is not just another monster manual. Uh, and as a, a bard might say, you go kill it while I stay here and play. This is a collection of 20 races, monster races, that are uh, integral to the Pathfinder game. And it presents, uh, it pre it presents them in, in new and interesting ways. And I think it is a, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful tome. What I would like to see is uh, a lot more of this. Uh, this, this is uh, quite an, ama an amazing thing. It's five, uh, 3.5 OGL compatible, as it says. It, uh, it goes for 39.99, and you can find it at uh, pizocom slash Pathfinder. You don't have to slash it that many times, but that's what it goes for. And uh, so let's talk about what the book is. Okay, this book contains, as I said before, it contains twenty. Uh, not not new races, not necessarily new. Uh, but it contains twenty different monster races. Uh, and they are as follows: Bogards, Bugbears, Dro, Duragar. Fire giants, frost giants, ghouls, gnolls, goblins, hobgoblins, kobolds, lizard folk, ogres, orcs, rat folk, the serpent folk, sahuigan, I got those out of thing, um, troglodytes, trolls, and wampirs, or otherwise known as vampires, if you pronounce things correctly. So, what are these things, and why are they in a book? unto themselves. Well, I will tell you, since you're here, might as well. This uh, particular uh, tome is designed to give, it's, it's of course a playing aid, and uh, let, let me quote from the book, intelligent monsters shouldn't be faceless hordes of identical creatures. It's not a video game. And the variety is a key, and even the categories, uh, their variety is a key part of their appeal as adversaries in the Pathfire role-playing game and others as well. Uh, this must be my thing this time. Uh, making each encounter memorable just as a human town is home to people with wildly different skill sets, a pack of gnolls, gnolls, is more than just a few dozen monsters fitting the statistics from their Pathfinder RPG bestiary entry. Very astute, I believe. I believe. Now, as, as a DM, I tend to get uh, very deeply into the storyline, uh, sometimes to the point where we can have an entire session with without even rolling any dice, and that may or may not seem boring to you, just depending on your playing style. But in my playing style, it is it is very not boring. <laughs> uh, the the depth that uh, that a, a, an NPC or a monster can achieve is integral to the and and quite uh, um, uh, quite compatible with uh, the the depth of the story and the the enjoyment factor uh, they they kind of they're they're uh, uh, the word I'm looking for escapes me but uh, uh, it's it, it's proportional you know it's it's proportionate the 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 depth of the monster you know, just just fighting hordes of monsters is just like an arena thing, and it's not, and it's not fun. Well, it can be. I mean, it, that in and of itself. But when you're playing an actual, if you're playing an actual dungeon, then it, it should be 
uh, it should be deep and it should be thought provoking and it should be uh, an interesting storyline. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes characters die just to make the story interesting at the at the behest of the player. Uh, there, you know, uh, just the other day, I wasn't actually the dungeon master. I was, uh, I was a player. I actually got to say, uh, we were my everyone was was running, including my own characters. Uh, everyone was running from this this adversary because they had to be someplace. And my character actually got to say, "You go on. I'll stay here and hold them off." This is this is like uh, I don't really have a bucket list, but if I had, that would be on it, and it would be crossed off because I got to say it. Uh, fortunately, uh, my character is uh, is quite uh, Banff, and he managed to survive the encounter. Uh, but it was <laughs> it was a great moment. The battle itself wasn't um, the battle itself wasn't phenomenal. It, it it was considering who was fighting in this battle, but uh, it wasn't a, a great it, was, it wasn't a long protracted epic battle. But the fact that I got to say that in the story, and everyone got to safety, made it. It, it was just it was just incredible. So that's that's hopefully what this book uh, will will achieve. And from what I've read. It has the option of doing that, and as you, only you can pre prevent forest fires and and rhinoceroses. Then, and it's and it's true they do they do prevent forest fires. What what movie is that from? Rhinos are the natural firefighters of the plains. Um, anyway, this book uh, tends to do that aesthetically. It's gorgeous. I mean, the, the artwork is very, it's very Pathfinder. Uh, like, um, well, I mean, it, it is replete, as it were, with, uh, with things like Fire Giants here on page uh, 63. And uh, the goblins, they look, the, the goblins look kind of, uh, they kind of look like gremlins. But they've always looked like gremlins in Pathfinder, if I'm, uh, if I'm correct. And which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, the Lizard Folk Champion here on page 145. Uh, still the same uh, style. Uh, the ogres are really interesting. They all have this, uh, like uh, the Ogre Destroyer on 156. He's not an actually, he doesn't actually destroy ogres. He's an ogre who destroys. Thus, henceforth, therefore, and to wit destroying things, making him an ogre destroyer. And uh, the orcs are all very orky, as you can see here. We got a long way to go. We'll pee before we leave. And so forth. And uh, the uh, the Durgar, which is a uh, much un overlooked race, I believe. Uh, the Durgar, they are and uh, they are they are presented here like the uh, the Duragar bombardier on page 48 and so forth. So the artwork is fine giving it uh, uh, I do believe it gets full marks for its uh, presentation. And the organization it it is organized very well, it gets full marks for organization. It's organized very well. Uh, gets uh, uh, it starts you know it, it does the the uh, the monsters in alphabetical order of course and then it has the sub creatures or the uh, the the ver the varieties thereof in there as well uh, for each part going from the weakest to the strongest I believe and or just the various uh, like the uh, lizard folks clutch mother it sounds like a curse you clutch mother um, the the scion and it's a it's not a small it's here on page 148 it's not a small boxy lizard as the uh, the scion XB but uh, it's uh, it's organized very well it's easy to find everything of course um, and 
therefore, uh, we will uh, we will pause here, and uh, for the next the next one we'll go over the uh, the uh, creativity, originality, and playability, and that is the uh, the Pathfinder role playing game Monster Codex. Awesome. Uh, look them up at paizo.com slash pathfinder. That's an X. Don't X. X it's a slash pathfinder. And don't forget to look us up at www.dwarventavern.net. Uh, give us a like, subscribe, please. We love that. And uh, thanks for watching. We wish for you to want for nothing but adventure. And at first I feared it, then I charged while playing a bazooki. And... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.